going on everybody? My name is TK and for the past couple of months, maybe even the past year and a bit, I've been asked constantly what kind of camera I use, what lenses, what other equipment. And in this video today, I'm going to reveal all the equipment I use and everything that I carry with me inside my camera bag when I go on these trips to make cinematic videos. I'd also like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys are looking to make a sick website with ease, it's got to be Squarespace. Now, first of all, let's have a look at my camera bag. So I absolutely love this camera bag. It's a Burton Focus, I believe it's called. And um, there is a hell of a lot of room in here. It is quite big, but after I got all my gear in it and I was able to fit like everything I needed in for a trip, I was pretty, I was pretty happy with it. Like this thing has done a great job. Now inside this bag, I can fit three lenses, a laptop, a drone, two cameras if I'm pushing it, a road mic, even the drone controller and a spare drone battery. So it does make the bag really heavy. Like at times this can get up to about 13 kilograms. So in the top of the bag, we've got a compartment here, which this is where I actually store my camera. So I wrap it up in like a nice soft t-shirt so it's all protected. It's really quick access. So if I need to get my camera out straight away, I can just bang, bang, grab it, camera's ready to go sort of thing. Towards the back of the bag here, we have a compartment, which is pretty convenient when you need to get your lenses out. You just unzip this here. This is like the protection pad for all the gear. And then inside you've got, uh, this, is, this is my setup. Like it doesn't come like this. Now the equipment I've used over the years making videos has changed a lot, but I'm gonna just go through what I use currently at this point in time. So first of all, the camera that I use now is the Sony A7 Mark III, which I'm filming on right now. The dynamic range on this camera is just, it is unbelievable. It also shoots 4K at 25 frames per second, or if you're American, it shoots at 30 frames per second. I wish it shot 50 frames or 60 frames per second, but maybe in the next camera. Apart from that, it's 1080p, 100 frames per second, nearly everything I shoot. Now, one of the lenses that I do use quite a lot is the Sony 24 to 240 millimeter lens. So you can get some great distance out of this thing. If you need to shoot a monkey that's really far away, you're guaranteed to get a pretty nice shot. So there's one thing I don't like about this lens and it's the fact that it's an f3.5 to 6.3. So that means when you zoom in, it gets darker and lets less light in. Now the second lens I use, I got it in a protective case because I love this lens. It is a Sony Zeiss 1.8 55mm lens. So these are probably the best kind of lenses you can get for filmmaking or photography. The nifty 50 as some people call them because they're super versatile and they always give you beautiful shots. Now the reason why I love this lens and I take this lens with me is because it's a 55 which is a good focal length and it's a 1.8 which means it's super good in low light and it's going to give you beautiful depth of field when you're aiming at a subject at a close range. So I will always take this lens with me. So the last lens that I use and it's probably my most important lens because it's an all-rounder lens it works very well in nearly every situation. It's the 16 to 35 2.8 G Master made for the Sony cameras. Uh, this lens is hyper expensive, but for my kind of filmmaking, I really, really needed it. I used to shoot with an F4, which was good, but I, I feel like in some situations I needed some more depth of field and a little bit of low light. So uh, the G Master really does a good job here. And I use this lens mostly for corporate work, for weddings. Um, this, is, this is a lens that will always be with me. I'll never leave it at home. Now to stabilize the footage with my Sony a7 III and that G Master lens, which I use quite a bit, um, I use the Xion Crane version two, not the Xion Crane two, the version two. I guess you guys will probably think that that setup's too heavy for this. Tested it multiple times and it performs really well. So I've just stuck with this setup. I also own the Xion Crane two, which um, I actually don't take with me on travel trips because it is a lot heavier, it's a lot bigger. Now, because I do a lot of vlogging and talking into the camera, um, this is super important to have. It's a Rode shotgun mic. This cost around $200 Australian, I think, but the audio that comes out of this is really crisp. It really does up the value of your audio, especially in windy situations. If you're filming somewhere where there's a lot of wind and you need to talk, um, this will help cut out most of the noise. To record audio separately to the camera, I use the Zoom H1, which isn't too bad, but I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I've actually 
Since I bought it, I've used it less and less and less. So the drone that I use now from this point in time is the Mavic 2 Pro. I've only flown this drone twice, but I've got to say the footage that has come out of it is absolutely, it's so much better than the Mavic 1. Let's put it that way. The settings that I use for the Mavic 2 is I shoot in 25 frames per second in 4K and D-Log so you can get the most dynamic range possible. Got my Mavic 2 controller, which fits snug in the bag. And for underwater shots, I have my GoPro Hero 5. I actually just purchased this dome, which was like 60 bucks off eBay. It's not gonna be able to fit in my camera bag. So that's probably gonna go in my suitcase. Make sure you've always got some lens cleaners with you because your lenses will get very dirty. Portable hard drive, no it's not. Power banks, this has saved my life quite a few times when uh, my phone's running low on battery and I've got to take my drone up and get some shots. LED lights, you don't need to take this with you on traveling, but I do occasionally take this when I've got like a nightclub job, 60 to $70 off eBay. eBay, doing a good job for us. So when I'm overseas trying to make a travel video, I need a laptop that can handle um, processing the footage and the effects that I put in. I've been using this laptop here, which is a Dell Inspiron 7000 series, 13 inch. It has a 16 gigabyte RAM, fairly decent graphics card. I, I'm not like crazy good on computer specs, but um, this is a really good editing laptop. I love it. Um, the only issue I do have with this laptop, and it is quite a big issue, is I can never get the screen colors to look right. I actually made the Cambodia video and the Thailand video entirely on this laptop. If you're going for a trip away for a month or two, make sure you get a hard drive that has at least two terabytes. So now that I've shown you guys all the gear that I keep inside my travel bag, I'm gonna show you how it looks inside with the camera and all the lenses packed together and the Xion crane so you can get an idea of the amount of space that's in the bag. But before I do that, it's time to talk about Squarespace. With so many videographers and photographers already out there, sometimes it's hard to stand out above the crowd. This is where Squarespace says, hey man, we can hook you up with a super simple platform to create a really beautiful website to help you stand out and get the jobs that you deserve. Squarespace is very, very easy to use. Simply just scroll through all the templates that are already available to you, click the one you like, and then start changing it around, upload photos, change the descriptions, and turn it into something of your own. So head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial, and when you've designed a website that you're very happy with, make sure you use the coupon code BENTK to get 10% off. Need a website? Choose Squarespace. Okay, let's take a look at this setup inside my camera bag. Oh, and one thing I almost forgot to mention for equipment is ND filters. Make sure you've got yourself some ND filters for your lenses. I'll also be heading to the Philippines all December, so I'm super, super excited. Keep your eyes out for some Philippines content. Peace out, everybody.